Greetings YouTubers and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit differently here. We are going to be doing a shade tree front end alignment on the old Trailblazer. Yep, that's right. Probably seen a lot of videos on YouTube about this. I've done a couple, but uh, on this Trailblazer, the only thing you have to adjust is the tie rod ends. Uh, you can turn them in or turn them out. And as long as your upper and lower ball joints are in good shape, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. So I got the uh, thing here kind of set up. You know, this is real technical. <laughs> a couple of jack stands and a, a ball of twine is all you need. Now the whole idea is to set the jack stands out in front of the tires and run a string all the way around, you know, and kind of get it, you know, pretty close to the tire. We can either measure this by eyeballing it or putting a uh, tape measure here. And we got the string all the way around, and it's pretty much touching the tires here. I need to adjust my camera. And we got it around back here, all the way down through there. So we're looking good there. And what is this? Oh, great. Our day, you know, of course, our day wouldn't be complete with something like that in a tire. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well. well. I guess we'll have to plug that anyway. So we got that there. I must have just picked that up today. Anyway, so we got it around here. And you can see here, it's uh, about a quarter of an inch in here. It's about an inch off, and there's our ball twine. So, you know, you can do this on your own, and... You know, last long enough to get you to a garage. If you live somewhere where, you know, you have a garage, you can't get to it and within 50 miles or you don't want to burn a gas. But this works pretty good on most cars, not all cars. So, you know, this is just for the Trailblazer. So what we got right now is the steering wheel kind of straight. And uh, when I get down the highway, it's actually like this. It's kind of a little off center. And it seems like to me that this tire needs to go that way. And the tire on this side definitely needs to go this way. So it's a little off center. And actually you can see the gap there. Let me get my tape measure. You can see this a little easier that way. All right, so we get the old tape measure here. And here it's about a half inch. And here it's it's right up against the tire pretty much and same thing on this side half inch there and definitely touching the tire so for the adjustments um, I've already broken the uh, jam nut loose with a 7 8 wrench and also the inner tie rod in where you make the adjustments can you see back there or not but I've already kind of got that uh, loosened up let me see if I can get my hand back here at the same time with the camera and uh, I've already loosened this here up so all I have to do is put a wrench on this and turn it and this will either go in on the tie rod in or back out and it'll move the tire this way or that way same thing with the other side so I'm just gonna stick my hand back here with the wrench and turn this and kind of watch this out here as this tire kind of does that now before you do that make sure you take your steering wheel get it back in the straight position here where pretty sure you know could be our final adjustments will be as we're driving straight down the highway if it's a little off you can still pull over somewhere and turn that nut a little bit uh, the tie rod in adjust it and you'll see your steering wheel kind of do this and all that so the whole idea is to get both tires pretty much even with the string on both sides so let's go ahead and start making some adjustments here all right let's double check our steering wheel it's pretty straight oh by the way i just put some uh, refrigerant in the vehicle and i've been working on it when you unscrew these cans a lot of times the the, the hose when you unscrew it you'll feel the can still getting cold Put your ear up to the little uh, top of the can. It still leaks out a little bit once you take that uh, connector off. So I had to put the connector back on it so I didn't lose all the free on out of that can. So kind of weird. I don't know. But anyway, so this side. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. About a quarter and a half. So the other side's got the bigger gap in it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and make the adjustment here on this one. This one's... About a half inch, so and this one here is pretty close. Let me set the camera up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my wrench behind here. 
Um, I was going to show you this tire as it moves right here, but I have no way to reference it, and I can't hold that up there like that. So we're just going to start turning. I never know which way to turn. You'll just have to turn and see if the tire's coming in or out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this kind of set up on this here. All right, whew, wrench is on. See which way it turns. So it looks like I need to go down with it. All right, so we'll start turning here, and this is going to take a few minutes. All right, so I think we're pretty close. I know this is kind of hard to see, and also when you're doing this, make sure your arm or your clothes isn't hitting the string without you not knowing it. So, all right, let's see what we got there now. All right, I'll stand up here and we'll measure this, and that is not quite, it's about uh, 3 sixteenths, not quite. And that is four sixteenths, so we need to come out just a little bit more on that. But before we do that and give it another tug, always go back inside after you make some adjustments and verify that your steering wheel is still straight. You can see it's not quite straight like it was, but back in there. All right, that's fairly straight. By the way, this side is looking pretty daggone good. I think most of the adjustments I had to do was on this side, so. All right, by me turning that steering wheel, that helped quite a bit. I think we need to go back in. We actually went just a little too far, and you can see that is right up about one, see, two sixteenths. That's about an eighth. And this here needs to go back now, a probably a sixteenth. So, you know, these adjustments are real fine, so let me adjust that back. All right, you can see what I'm, do what I'm doing there, kind of turning that, and I think, boy, that looks really close. Get out of the shadow here, try to. All right, so, not quite a quarter of an inch. And let's check this out, not quite a quarter of an inch. Boy, I like that, that looks really good. Now you want the front ones, if it's front wheel drive, you want the toe in, the wheels just a little bit on the inside. If it's rear wheel drive, you want it just out just a hair, about a sixteenth of an inch. But you can go have it professionally aligned, and then you won't have to worry about that, right? All right, so that there is looking pretty good. That is about three sixteenths. That is about a quarter, about a well, one, two, three, about four sixteenths. So let's see what our steering wheel does. Is it? It's pretty much lined up, so let's wiggle it back and forth a little bit. Try to get it fairly straight. Let's check everything here. Of course, you got to have good ball joints and stuff to do this. So there was about three sixteenths. Not quite three sixteenths, but that is really, really close. And three sixteenths. About four sixteenths. I think I need to go in just a little bit more with the front end here. All right, so I went a half a turn with it. Let's get up here and look at it again. Set the tape measure up. About a quarter still. And not quite a quarter there. Let's check the other side. Yeah, if you're within a quarter, if, let me say that again. If you're within a, a couple sixteenths or maybe even an eighth, you're doing pretty daggone good. And it looks like we're pretty good here. Let me double check this. Actually, I think this side here now, what I need to do, that is three sixteenths. That is about a quarter. I need to bring this out just a little bit on this side. All right, get my wrench back in there. All right, so we made some adjustments. Let's verify the steering wheel is still straight. Pretty straight. All right, three sixteenths. Three sixteenths. Well, that's pretty good there. I hope this side worked out. Three sixteenths. About three sixteenths. All right, boy, I tell you what, that worked. That can't be any straighter. So, um, all I gotta do now is take it down the road and drive it down the highway straight and see if I need to make any tweaks to the steering and how do I know which side to do. 
Well, it's almost a guessing game at that point. So you can go to one side and turn it maybe half a turn. And if I get your steering wheel straight, work with it. If it doesn't feel right, turn it back and go back to the other side and turn it a half a turn and see if that makes the steering wheel go back in the center. So, you know, it's not a perfect video, but it gives you an idea how you can kind of get your trailblazer back in alignment. So let's take it down the road now and see, well, how it rides. And maybe this will buy you some time before you get it to an alignment shop. All right, guys, we're cruising down the highway. We're pretty straight. And man, look at that. That steering wheel is almost perfect. I think what I'm going to do is take the right tire and uh, probably turn it in just uh, maybe a half a turn. And that should take care of it. But I did pretty good for the first time, so I can go out there and do that. Heck, I don't know. You might be able to see me do that. All right, so we'll turn that half a turn. And we'll lock that lock nut there here in a second. But that should take that front wheel that way just a little bit and that way my steering wheel will actually correct itself a little bit as I'm turning it so we'll check we'll try that out all right boy I did it. look at that it's almost perfect I can let go of the wheel look at that and it's pretty much straight down the highway yes that's what I wanted to see so you can play around you know adjusting it and all that but this will give you some idea how to get your uh, vehicle back in alignment. And the other test is after you've done everything, got pretty much lined up the way you want it. The other thing you can do is to kind of make sure everything's okay is find a little straight road and just kind of hit the brake and see if it pulls left or right. And of course mine doesn't, it feels really good. So, but if you pull to the left or right, you probably still got an alignment issue or maybe you got a brake caliper that's sticking a little bit. All right, guys, so there you go. Now, remember, if you're going to do this, you may have to actually take the wheel off and kind of break that lock nut loose because a lot of times they're, uh, or the jam nut, they're on there pretty tight. You might have to actually take a pipe wrench to get it loose. But other than that, if you're going to do that, hopefully this will help you out. And until my next video, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.